Hello guys, my name is Asmaran, and this is more 49ers news now. Sorry I haven't been on uh, for the last few days. Um, been really busy in the hospitality world, in the restaurant. It's hot now, the summer is out, and we are kicking ass with the, like the restaurant trades going mad in London. If you're from other countries, and yeah, it's hot, well hot. Also, leave a comment, tell me where you are, because it's flipping hot here, and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. But, enough said, enough moaning, let's get on with the news. And the first bit of news is all about this guy. So, this one is all about Julio Jones, and it says, um, is on ninerswire.usatoday.com. <coughs> Why the 49ers didn't trade for Julio Jones. As you've heard, um, it was a few days ago, Julio Jones was being traded. And I think it's for the Titans, which is good for the Titans, well done them. Um... But why didn't the 49ers trade for Julio Jones? I think they got uh, Titans got Julio Jones, I think, like draft picks and stuff like that. But we'll find out why the 49ers didn't. This is on Carl Madsen. Uh, did the article on ninerswire.usatoday.com and we are going to read it out. So, <clears throat> the 49ers didn't land Ju uh, Julio Jones. Uh, the a two-time first-team All-Pro receiver uh, wouldn't have had a reunion with 49ers head coach Kyle Shanahan. Instead, he would join the Tennessee Titans. While Jones' 49ers fit was an obvious one, it wasn't a slam dunk that the Falcons and the 49ers would uh, execute a trade to make it happen. The first factor uh, uh, at play is that Atlanta may have wanted Jones to stay out of the uh, NFC, putting him inside uh, conference uh, dramatically increases their chances of facing him uh, uh, earlier in the regular season or the playoffs. That may be why the 49ers never really made an offer. 49ers never really made an offer after talking with Atlanta, including to Sports Illustrator's Albert Bear. Uh, there are some of the uh, uh, other factors that come into the play, though in terms of the 49ers' urges to get such a deal done. Uh, first, Jones missed seven games last season because of a nagging ha hamstring injury and turned 32 years old in February. After, fo uh, after focusing the entire draft on players with mostly clean build, uh, bit of health, it stands to reason the club isn't keen on adding uh, any aging star coming off an injury-riddled season. Money and the team's long-term vision could also play the role. Jones this year would have come with a 15.3 million cap hit requiring San Francisco to do some internal uh, internal manoeuvring by rescheduling contracts and pushing some money this year into the future. The 49ers in the Carl Shanahan John Lynch era have been focused on, uh, on the long term window and manufacturing a stable championship contender. The trade up to three in the draft of the quarterback Trey Lance was the first major foray and into unhold, unloading big time draft capital to acquire a player. In that deal, they shelled out a pair of future first-round picks and a future third-round choice. Jones went for a 2022 second-round pick and a 2023 fourth-rounder. Given the front of his big-picture outlook on team building, going into next year's draft with no or second se uh, no first or second-round picks was probably too daunting. In a related vein, the 49ers may need those picks to stock some cheap talent given some of the financial commitments they have coming up and some of the holes they need to fill for the team. The plan is Jimmy G's uh, stable contract to come off uh, the books next year. That Nick Bowes will be eligible for uh, an extension and Fred Warner is due for an significant play day as he enters the final year of the rookie deal. Both of these contracts will be at or near the top of the market. Even with an uh, up trick in the salary cap. Jones' uh, 11.5 million cap hit on each of the next two years would have been a steep price for a receiver in an offense built to run the ball. Putting the money aside for a moment, since there are ways to uh, multiply the cap and make money work work if a team really wants a player, the 49ers could find themselves in need of picks to fill key spots on the roster. There's no guarantee Mike McClinchsky is the long-term answer and right tackle as he enters his final year on the rookie deal. Neither safety spot has certain uh, a certain future and cornerback will need to be addressed again soon. If the 49ers were assessing their opportunity future needs, it would make sense that they are shielded away from unloading even more picks given their typical approach to trading them. Julio Jones would undoubtedly improve the 49ers' def uh, offense and the trade would made a ton of sense. 
adding a top five receiver to one of the NFL's most uh, effective rushing uh, attacks uh, would have made them extremely difficult to defend. Hence why the Titans made the move to pair Jones with Derek Henry. Given that we know about the 49ers front office and what it could be taken into the short and long term, it makes sense that they didn't pull the trigger and make an offer. So, uh, that's a big article. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't get Julio Jones, but then, yet again, it's like what they said, like the guy said. It's about money as well. I mean, now we've got two players out from injury, which is unreal. Uh, Moore and Skull. Um, one's got a torn ACL, one's got um, something cut, something with the Achilles. But listen, weird. Look, look. The future's still bright. I still think we've got a chance. We're still big contenders in this. No matter what you think or what or how you think it. Yeah. All right. So we've got two out. That that's listen. That will be addressed, and then we'll probably you know, they either get two players or someone off the team to do like a one year deal or something but it is what it is for Julio Jones yeah it was guttering um, it was sad but it's all cool because either way um, it will do well for the Titans I think the 49ers yes we're struggling I think with injuries and so forth I mean we're three people down and it's not even pre-season yet let alone regular season and um Listen, Julio Jones will do well for the Titans. I think decent fit, good trade for picks. I was pretty shocked because if you know if they're going for picks, um, it would have been good. But then again, I reckon it's more about salary cap. I reckon it's more about that. But who knows? Um, Guttering, but it is what it is. Uh, leave a comments tell uh, tell what you think down below. Was Julio Jones the right? You know, did he go to the right team or the wrong team? Do you think we we could have had him? You let me know down in the comments below. Um, also, thank you very much for the 37 subscribers. <clears throat> really fortunate, really appreciate you guys subscribing. Uh, very humble. So thank you very much. And if you're new, subscribe. So there's a lot more 49ers news and uh, reactions and reviews and all sorts of certain stuff. So yeah, um, thanks for guys for watching. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.